Hello, welcome to Moon Facts. Today I'm going to be using Micron pens and Prismacolor pencils to draw the sky. I'm not in love with this piece by any means, but I do think it still turned out pretty okay. I wish I had been a bit more heavy-handed when I was coloring in the skin, because the way it turned out just looked too light to me. And also I was having, I was really struggling with line art today because my hands were just so shaky and I wasn't sure why, so it was a bit frustrating. The character in this artwork is experiencing an involuntary expulsion of the pain they were clinging on to for so long. What's shown in this scene is the character whipping their head back in terror as the pain forces its way out in a tar-like form. So I both loved and hated the hair at the same time because it's not as fun, I guess, as I usually draw it, but I also think that it really helped show the movement of the character going backwards. While I was sketching this piece out, I was a little bit worried that the arm would look like it had no skin because of all the muscle lines I was drawing, but I think it turned out. I really enjoy drawing scowl lines on the people I draw and it might look a bit severe but I think at this point I'm a bit indifferent to it. It just looks like normal to me. This is about the point where my shaky hands really became a challenge because although I do want there to be a general curve outside of the initial outlines, I still want each of the small lines to be as parallel to each other as possible. And it started working out better as I went along, but you can see at the very bottom that strand turned out super shaky. I've been using one color at a time for the entire piece for the sake of making the YouTube video chapters more coherent for viewers. But I think switching between the hair and the skin so much is making it harder for me to visualize what I actually want it to look like. So I think going forward I'm going to focus on just the skin all at once, complete the skin, and then move on to the hair. 
but I'm kind of curious to know if you like seeing the chapters categorized by the colored pencil I'm using versus the components of the character I'm working on. So if you want, please comment down below which type of chapters you like better. At this point, I could tell that I really wasn't feeling the character at all. So I went back to look at some of my older pieces that I did like to see what I could add to this piece. And maybe I could start liking it a bit more. Uh, so I added the orange hair into this piece. Um, it didn't really get me to like it anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I think my self-criticism is just getting in the way of be appreciating my work. As I began coloring in the liquid, I wanted it to look like oil in a parking lot on a rainy day, but it didn't really turn out the way I wanted, so maybe that is part of the reason why I really i am not a fan of this, this specific piece. Um, you can see I was adding the colors. I wanted the colors to look dark, not bright and vivid. Maybe that was my mistake, but all the colors I'm adding now, you can't really see it in the very end. Maybe you can, I don't know. The forehead is pretty dark and saturated in color, and that's the way I wish the rest of the skin had turned out, but instead it was just one area that was more saturated, and then the rest was a little bit washed out. And As I was adding in the highlights, I felt like I wanted to add more blue to the piece, but I already burnished it, so it would have been difficult to smoothly put the blue in over the top. So what I ended up doing was doing a thin outline of the character with blue, which I don't think it really did much, and I probably won't be doing again on another piece. But here's the finished product, and Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more of my art.